everyone. It's Jochem, CEO at Daydo. Um, I'm super excited for the Journey AI launch and for a few reasons. Because one, Journey AI is like, it's the most powerful research assistant you have when it comes to journey mapping and helping you really understand what customers are going through. But the other thing is that journey mapping and getting that right is a hard work. It really takes time, dedication, and figuring out. And people, especially in large organizations, when there's like hundreds of journeys that you need to take into account to come up with a journey framework like this, which is a B2C journey framework for a telco with all these like nuanced customer journeys in them, can take months to build. So what we said is like, instead of doing the summary, instead of helping you with the basic AI capabilities everyone has, let's really think through what makes mapping hard. So... If you look at customer journey mapping, the whole process itself, all the steps, if you do them in one go, is way over a week of time. You need to spend on mapping it out, getting buy-in, collecting the data, doing the reviews, uh, the research, getting the customer data in, and then synthesizing the insights and mapping the journey. So you should always be talking to customers. You should continue doing interviews. The cool thing is, it's not just you who is doing the interviews. It's also your sales team who are doing the interviews. It's your support team who's talking to customers. All of that data should actually be input for your journeys. So we're saying, what if we can take that weekly process that takes weeks or days to complete and turn it into minutes? And that is what Journey AI does. So this research is from our friends at Nielsen Norman Group, where they say, like, it takes so much time to build a customer journey map. One. So we're going to help you save like hundreds of thousands of euros of dollars spent every year on this mapping so you can focus on creative problem solving, building the customer experience. Now let me show you how it works. So if I'm now going to add a journey for this specific problem, which is I'm going to find data on how people are actually enjoying adding Spotify to their mobile subscription when they're buying a new phone. So I'm going to create a new journey adding Spotify. Spotify to my subscription, which is like the goal of this task-based journey. It's level two in my hierarchy. All right. So what is cool about this is now we can actually start doing what we should be doing. So I'm adding the journey. It's empty. And I'm not going to take, instead of mapping it out myself, I'm going to do it with AI. So let me just input. I have uh, my transcript here from my interview. All right. Just copy paste it, uh, putting it here. I'm going to say the source is an interview. It is actually a research about uh, in store experience. And I'm going to add it to my Open Avery persona if I can find her. So I'm saying, like, we talked to an Avery. And now I'm going to create the journey. So this process typically takes a week, mapping it out, building out the steps, the phases, doing affinity mapping, classifying all these insights, quotes into pains and gains and understanding what it is. So I'm not going to have you wait. This will take a few minutes. I'm going to get an email when it's done. So let's have a look how it looks. Let's see what we got. Adding Spotify to my subscription. And here we go. A whole journey emerged. I have pains, I have gains, I have my needs mapped out. They're mapped to Persona, so looking at Open Avery, she worries about existing Spotify account integration. And actually what they do does is like taking the quotes from the research, turning it into a pane, and then looking at how would it actually map on the experience. So here you would see there's a big dip in the experience if we look at the different Personas that we have. And the cool thing is, now this is in place, we can actually start adding more. So I can just add more of my transcript, more of my notes, keep adding my research notes to the journey, and it will automatically be classified and mapped to the actual journey that we have here. But there's one more cool thing. This whole journey is giving me an idea of how people perceive the adding to the Spotify, adding Spotify to the account. But if I now go back to my framework where we actually were before, I can see that I've added it here in the selection stage. Now, might, might not be true, maybe I need to move it around, but for the purpose of this demo, I'm going to keep it here. Because now, if we do instant opportunity, data will help you roll up all the insights from the relevant journeys to your opportunity. So let me show you how it works. I can now go and say, like, here's an opportunity for the business. So new op AI demo, creating it, 
And instantly, Dedu rolls up all these insights from the sub-journeys and understands where they are coming from into my opportunity. So all I need to do now is make sure that I prioritize it and then link it to the right people and organization. And all these insights from the journeys are there for the opportunity. So you're simplifying the workflow tremendously, and now you can start working with journeys. So that is the first thing they do with Journey AI does for you. I really hope you like it, but journey creation, journey mapping should take minutes and not months. It is up to you to validate, to add, to create, but 80% of the grunt work is done by us.